Greetings to all of uh, our fellow South Africans. I greet you in the name of uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, in the whole of our continent and also people that are listening to this uh, telecast uh, in the far I mean, neighborhood uh, countries, which is your your southern countries. <clears throat> and I want to thank God <clears throat> for this opportunity that uh, uh, I share the word of God and not just the word of God, but the word of hope during these times where our country is challenged by this uh, enemy called COVID-19. But uh, if we can go to the scripture, 7 Timothy chapter 1, from verse 7, Paul speaks to his son Timothy, encouraging him about a number of things. But when it comes to verse 7, he speaks about the Spirit. He says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us mm, uh, spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. Now, it is so important to understand that as a human being, you have been created by God, created in such that you are a spirit, which is your inner person, is the, is the part of your body that relates with your creator, with God. It is where the, the part when you have passed on, it's either to be with the Lord, but you have no, you, know, you are no longer, I mean, existing on earth. Then when people say so and so is no more. This is the part that relates and has gone to, I mean, to be with its God. And this is the part that makes a difference in the life of a person. Now, the spirit and the body and the soul, those two parts are very important in the life of a person. The question you may ask is, is this. Why specific, uh, specifically spirit? Why is Paul, when he is encouraging his son Timothy, speaks about the spirit of the spirit of fear? Now, when you go to the spirit of fear, it, it, it may find a place uh, uh, by reason of one's natural temperament, but it is not merely a human disposition. It is not from God, and it can. Uh, uh, and it's also, it's not a desire that you have that spirit. It can paralyze a person. It can immobilize a person and, and, and torment its victims, making them to feel powerless and uh, alone. So this is so important. And as we are going uh, here, this is the first day, <clears throat> excuse me, that there's this lockdown and some do not understand it. What does this mean to ourselves? And But the God that we serve, he comes up through Paul, encouraging us and saying, God has not given us that spirit. Even if you are locked up in your family and some are developing to have flu symptoms and you begin to doubt, Lord, what is happening? Are we going to, I mean, to have this disease or whatever? But God has not given us the spirit of, 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 of fear. He has given us a spirit where I said, it's the spirit of, 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 of love, it's the spirit of power, it is the spirit of sunlight. Now, how does this, uh, the, 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 these things relate, uh, relate to, I mean, to our present situation? Let me share some few thoughts with you. The spirit is a man of fear. It's very dangerous. It attracts the enemy. As we are seated there now, the flu in every winter, which is it's almost the beginning of I mean, of winter in these days. I mean, we'll have I mean different kinds of flu. But when our spirits inside are empowered with the word of God, then we will make sure that we develop what 
we have the love of God and also a sound mind. Because this is where I want us to go. <clears throat> the sound mind. <clears throat> In the next uh, episodes, I'll be talking more of fear versus love. So that we understand I mean, how to I mean, uh, make a contrast between these two. So let's go to a, I mean, a sound mind. Because the next episode will be dealing, as, as, as I, like I said, with love and fear. Sound mind. The word it's a Greek word. I mean, it comes from the Greek word. It is so important. Some people do not understand why. I mean, in the English words, they come from French and other languages. And where it is, I mean, clearly said that we only have 40 words that are originally from English. So from this word, sound mind, it's sophronismos. Uh, it is a combination of sos, S-O-S, and or meaning safe and friend, which is the mind. Mind in Greek, it's friend. Hence, <clears throat> so the word speaks about safe thinking. What do you do when we are faced with an enemy? What do you do when we are challenged? It means that is the time when the Bible, when Paul speaks to Timothy and says, a sound mind boy, he speaks about safe thinking. Don't focus on the enemy. Relax and understand what is it that is happening now. Why has the enemy has this thing come? So when you have a sound mind, all what we call opportunistic diseases, whatever you may call them, it's not easy for them to take a chance. You know, in every situation, even when you are um, faced or challenged with um, there's a snake, and it's in front of you. If, if, if you develop some <clears throat> movements, and then the snake will think that you're fighting. But once you begin to relax, then it's when the snake it just becomes, and you are calm. And the snakes leave you, I mean, it, it, the snake leaves you, and because you have developed a calm spirit. Now, this word sound mind speaks to that. And it denotes good judgment in the midst of good judgment, not just when nothing has happened, when a challenge, when confusion come your way, then you develop you know, what we call a good judgment. And also disciplined thought patterns. You know, it assists you. And then you ask me a question, how do I develop? This, I mean, this uh, disciplined thought patterns. When I'm anxious, this thing is about to kill me and whatever is going to be happening. No, you can. You, if God has empowered your spirit, if you have a relationship with God through your spirit, then the spirit of fear will disappear. You know, the, the Bible, just to talk I mean, a little bit of what I'm going to be sharing tomorrow about love. The Bible says, perfect love, it cast away the I mean, fear. Where there is love, or whether the love of God is the fear, you don't fight it. There. So, it is so important, the spirit, you can develop, I mean, the I mean, uh, uh, spirit of a sound mind, and the ability to understand and make right decisions. It, 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 it also includes the qualities of self-control and self-discipline. This is exactly what we need during these trying times. Let us be controlled. So let us exercise the spirit of self-control and self-discipline. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for all of our viewers this morning. My God, I know this is a trying time where my God does not know young, old, you know, everyone is faced with the challenge of this COVID. But God in his throne, you and me exist. And we can give our lives and I mean, to Christ, to be empowered by the spirit of Christ. And so that we can develop a good, I mean, to have good, I mean, uh, judgment and discipline. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.